now with his three minutes played in this ball game. Top five all time in minutes played. In between the pipes, George is on the board first. Here on this soggy Saturday evening. Brendan Bomberry, you mentioned it, Chris. Saw him in the tunnel, said he was feeling good, had great energy. He just stepped down from a pick in Thompson, and that's just become that patented overhand release. Bomberry goes high to low. Now, so far in this ball game, he has already moved up into fifth. In fact, he only needs 30 saves here tonight. That one gets passed. Benz only needs 30 saves tonight to move. Here we go, he's back. Miles Thompson as the crowd comes to their feet and he's getting them going. Haven't seen him yet this season. A ton of anticipation. <laughs> Weren't sure how good a shape he was going to be in. Well, that's the first time he touched the ball and he goes topside and get, gets one past Vince. So a great start for Miles Thompson and that has ignited this building, Chris. A bounce shot. Sneak front door. Yep. This is where we've seen the Swarm score in transition so often. Shane does look a step slow coming out of the box, still nursing that injury. So we'll see oh, as man. Joel White finds one in transition. Well, they there you go, Chris. We're, we're talking about Shane Jackson coming out of the box, not paying attention to Joel White, who just runs right up the field. And Buffalo just not stopping ball, I think, looking over towards the box, trying to find their matchup. Joel, he's been doing it a long time, the former Syracuse Orangeman. He comes right down the middle and just a composed in Duluth, Georgia. Great look. Careening in, Georgia's taking the lead. Just a great feed by McIntosh. The Swarm now finding their pace again, pushing an early offense. Lyle Thompson comes flying out of the box. That's a right-handed cut from the left-handed side of the field. McIntosh puts the ball right on his stick. Thompson gets into the middle and finishes with a Swarm. Meanwhile, Buffalo, as you all know, 13 and three. Overall, they've lost two straight, and they trail five, four, second. They settle in with that possession. The ball gets humming around. Lyle Thompson feeds across the field to Shane Jackson. We talked about the goaltending of Matt Vince. When you, when you make him track the ball from Thompson over on the righty wing, all the way over to Jackson on the lefty wing, nearly impossible to save, and Jackson knows what to do with it. That is of the evening, go along with three assists. Couple of denials there for Vance. Does that one squeak in? Yes, sir. Georgia has ended the run. From Lyle Thompson, as he gets to the middle of the field, the rebound comes off of Vince, bounces off of Bomberry, and McIntosh corrals it and goes airborne from the dunk behind the cage. Making defenses defend multiple shots in one possession is crucial. The first time we've seen Georgia get that opportunity that I can recall, and it ends up in a goal for the captain, Jordan McIntosh. To the number. Scott, Buffalo's two for three. That one squeaks through. Georgia's back on the board. Yeah, nothing complicated. We've seen LeBlanc just really consistent since he's been in a Swarm uniform. He just steps over the top. A pick from Jackson there, frees up his hand, and he's able to squeak it through. It looks like five hole on Matt Vince. Bumps. He was in the locker rooms with Tavares, whose jersey, John Tavares' jersey, still hangs on his wall. Yeah! Buffalo's back on. I'm sorry, Jordan is back, and he has been good. I mean, really efficient night for Miles Thompson. Seems like every time he's in there, he's creating offense, working back over on that right side with his brother. All he does there is just step over the pick from Lyle and just a smooth right-handed release right to the corner.